Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to fix Sonic Rumble game crashing, not launching, not loading, lagging, freezing, low FPS, black screen or any other kind of issues on PC. So let's go through the methods. So the very first method is to restart your PC as well as Steam. So for that, Steam users uh, click on the arrow icon over here. Now select it, right click on it and click on exit. Uh, Steam, now after that click on Windows icon then click on power then select restart so this will restart your pc as well as steam now after this check if you can launch the game if not next is to modify launch option so for that go to steam now under library section select your game right click on it click on properties now under general here you can you have to type minus dx11 and then launch the game and see if it's launching or not if not again come back and here type dx12 and then try to launch the game and see if this resolves the problem if not, next method is to update your graphics card. For that, go to the Windows search over here. Search for uh, Device Manager. Now, expand Display Adapter. Select your graphics card. Right click on it. Click on Update Driver and then click on Search automatically for drivers. This will search if any update is available. And after updating your graphics card, try to launch the game. NVIDIA and AMD users go through the link already given in the description and you can easily update your graphics card from there. Next solution is to run game from the installation folder. So for that, go to Steam. Select your game under library section, now click on manage, then click on browse local files. This will take you to the game folder where your game has been installed. Here is the game application, simply double click on it and check if the game is launching or not. If not, then you should run the game as administrator. For that, select the game application, right click on it, click on properties, now click on compatibility. Here select run this program as an administrator, click on apply and ok and then launch the game and see if it helps. If not, again come back, select run this program in compatibility mode for select Windows 8 or Windows 7, click on apply and OK and then launch the game and see if it resolves. If not, again come back, select disable full screen optimizations, click on apply and OK and after that launch the game and then check if the issue is fixed or not. If not, next is to verify integrity of game files, for that go to Steam, select your game under library section, right click on it, click on properties, click on install files and then click on verify integrity of game files. So after verifying the game files, check if the game is launching or not. Next solution is to disable in-game overlays. For that, go to Steam, click on Steam option, click on settings, then click on in-game. Here you can see enable the Steam overlay while in-game option is enabled. You have to click on it to disable it. After disabling, launch the game and see if it works. For GeForce Experience, open GeForce Experience, tap on gear icon beside username. Click on general, then switch off in-game overlay option. For Discord overlay, go to the user settings, game overlay tab, switch off, enable in game overlay option. Next method is to close unnecessary background tasks. So for that, go to the Windows search, search for task manager. Now here under process tab, you have to search for those apps which are of no use but running in the background. Simply select them. Now after selecting, right click on it and click on end task. So this will completely close the app running from background. And after that, try to launch the game and see if it helps. Next solution is to install Visual C++ files. For that, go to the go through the link I have already provided in the description. Copy and paste it in your browser or you can even search for Visual C++ files on your browser. Now after the website opens, go below. And here you have to download the uh, Visual C++ file. Simply click on it and the files will be downloaded. Now after that, open the link or open the file and you have to either repair it or install it. If you are getting repair option, you have to click on repair option and wait for some time unless it gets repaired. Now it's saying setup successful. After doing this, restart your PC. After restarting, again launch the game and check if you can play it without any further problem. Next method is to allow the game through firewall. For that, go to the Windows search, search for Windows security. Now click on firewall network protection, allow an app through firewall. Now click on change settings and here you have to search for the game if it's listed. If not, uh, let me search for the game over here. So the game is listed over. If you can't find the game, click on allow another app, click on browse, then go to the game folder where your game has been installed. Select the game application and add it to the list. After adding it, select it, make sure both private and public boxes are ticked and then click on OK. And after that, launch the game and see if it helps. Next method is to update windows. So for that, go to the windows search, search for check for updates. Now this will take you to the windows update page. Here you have to click on check for updates and we'll check if any update is available. If any update is there, you have to update your 
Windows to the latest version and after that launch the game and see if you can play it. Next method is to disable antivirus program or firewall. So if you are having any antivirus program then it can interrupt in your gameplay and can lead to such kind of issues. So uh, for that you have to go to the Windows search, search for Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection then go below click on manage settings and here you have to turn off real time protection. If it is enabled you have to disable it. Once done again go to the Windows search search for Windows Defender firewall. Now click on turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off. Here you have to select turn off Windows Defender Firewall in both private and public network settings. And after that click on OK and then launch the game and see if this resolves the problem. But after that you have to again enable the protection and then check if everything is working fine. If not next is to increase virtual memory. For that go to the Windows search, search for view advanced system settings. Click on settings then click on advanced then click on change. Here you have to select the drive where your game has been installed. After that click on custom size. In the initial size you have to type 12288. In the maximum size you have to type 24576. Then click on set and then click on ok. After this launch the game and check if it's working or not. Next method is to clear download cache. For that go to steam. Now click on steam option then click on settings. Now click on downloads and here you can see clear download cache you have to click on clear cache and after clearing the cache again log into the game and check if you can play it if not then the final method is to reinstall the game for that go to windows so uh, go to the uh, steam now under library section select your game right click on it click on manage now click on uninstall and finally click on uninstall option this will completely remove the game from your system after that reinstall after that restart your pc once your PC restarts, launch Steam and again reinstall Sonic Rumble game once again and then click on play button and then check if you can play the game or not. So these are few suggested solutions to fix Sonic Rumble game not launching, crashing, lagging, freezing, not loading or other issues on PC. So that's all for now in this video. Thank you.